welcome back to my channel. Today's video is obviously a makeup tutorial as you can tell by the title and I'm excited because I used the Carly Bible palette. I did my entire eye makeup with it and I also use her highlights which are amazing. So for those of you who have the palette I would love for you guys to try this look out. It is very easy and it looks just so beautiful. I love the colors in her palettes. I love these mauve colors. Those are like so me and her highlights are amazing you guys. I think this is a really great palette for it only costing $12. You get really good quality products. The eyeshadows have a little bit of a fallout, but it's not really that big of a deal. If you're looking for an affordable palette, maybe for yourself or to gift for Christmas, this one is a really great one because like I said, it's only $12 and you get some really beautiful colors and highlights in here. I would love it if you guys could subscribe to my channel and if you want to see how to get this look, just keep on watching. To start off, I'm going to be using the Marc Jacobs Primer. This one is a coconut based primer which makes it super moisturizing. I love using it when I'm doing a high coverage foundation or a matte coverage. And then for my eyes, I'm using my favorite which is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I apply it directly to my eyelids and then I just blend it out using a beauty blender. I like to start with the eyes, so we're going to jump straight into the Carly Bible palette. I'm going to be picking up the super light shade from the palette, and I'm going to be using that as my base. This little brush was actually a little sample that I got from Sigma. I forget what the name is. I'll list it down at the bottom bar. But I'm just using that to apply all over my eyelids. Next, I'm using this mauve color as my transition color. And the brush that I'm using to apply that with is actually from Anastasia. It came in one of the eyeshadow palettes and it's my favorite blending brush. It actually came in the last two palettes that she came out with. It's amazing. Now I'm picking up this darker plum shade from the palette and I'm only going to be applying that on the outer corners of my eyes. I'm using that same blending brush that I applied my transition color with. Take as much time as you need blending this part out. I like to blend until I feel it looks perfect and a lot of times I spend so much time just blending and blending and blending. I went back to that same color I used as my transition color and just applied it on the lids towards that darker plum shade. Then after that, I just picked up some of that first color that I used as my base color and I applied it as my highlight to just smooth the colors over. I'm applying this brown eyeliner from Smashbox. It's super creamy. I love it. And then for my wing liner, I'm going to be using the Inglot Gel Liner in that black shade. For lashes, I use Red Cherry Lashes in the number 213. They're a simple, super wispy kind of style. And then for my brows, I'm using this new product from Pure Minerals. It's a brow powder and I am so excited about this product. It feels like you're applying a liquid brow product, but it's a powder form. It's so easy to use and it makes a huge difference when you apply it. For my face, I wanted to start off with the Smashbox CC Cream to tone down all the redness I had going on. And then I went in with the Lancome 24 Hour Foundation and I just used a beauty blender to blend everything out. For concealer, I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. It's such a heavy coverage concealer that all you need is one pump and it's good enough for the whole face. To set my concealer, I use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and let it sit for about 5 minutes.
To start my contour, I'm using the Anastasia Cream Kit in the light shade. I'm just using that brown color to start everything off and then I'm going to be picking up a brush from Real Techniques, just a small dome contour brush and I'm going to blend that cream out. Then using that same brush, I'm going to be using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Give Me Sun and I'm just going to go over that cream contour. For blush, I'm using MAC Melba, one of my favorites. Then I'm going to be using that light gold shade from the Carly Bible Palette to highlight. To finish up on the eyes, I'm going to be picking up that mauve and plum shade and apply it on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to go in and pick up a sparkly light shade and I'm going to use that to highlight underneath my brows. I'm lining my lips with the MAC Lip Liner in Burr. I'm sorry, it's discontinued. Sorry. And then I'm going to pick up the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in Veronica. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this look and I'll see you guys in my next video.